Tony Farmer uh, was a top basketball prospect here in the United States. He's from Ohio, and she just recently got sentenced uh, after he kidnapped and assaulted his girlfriend. Let's see what his reaction was to that sentencing. Of three years here, which is the minimum, on count one of that. As to count two in that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. As to count three, uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that oh, count oh, there he as goes. well. I haven't finished yet. Damn, I, finished. I ain't done with you yet, son. I haven't finished. Now, you look at that and you feel bad for the guy, right? I mean, I know it's a little amusing, like, wasikter. <laughs> look, he had was about as good a wasikter look as you could possibly have. Uh, but didn't you feel bad? My God, he was one of the top prospects coming out of high school, one of the top 100 uh, ball players coming out. And uh, he was probably going to go to a good school, might or go to the NBA one day, you know, if things worked out right. Yep. And obviously, he's devastated by it. It's a roller coaster of emotion watching that video because at first you're cracking up, you know, like his face, like. He, and look, it's kidnap, assault, they're serious charges, so you, you, you can't help but laugh at his reaction. Like, really, you're that surprised, dude? But the part where I actually do feel bad is when you see his family in the background. Yeah, and they I react, felt bad for them. And it's like, oh, that must be horrifying to see a family member get a three year sentence. I, I know. Nonetheless, let's watch him collapse again. Oh, well. yeah. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> no, but did you catch the other part that was amusing? The part where he first gets the three years and he turns to his lawyer like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here, watch that part. On count one of that, as to count two in that case, felonious assault, a felony. <laughs> <laughs> I got three years and the lawyer's like, yep. Now the interesting backstory to this is, as he was being sentenced, I mean look, when they are sentencing you, they do it in such a complicated way that you're not really understanding how many years you're actually going to end up spending in prison. So he was under the assumption that he was going to spend seven years in prison and that's when he collapsed. But don't worry, it's only three years in prison, it's not as bad. I'm telling you, the first time I watched it I was like, look first of all, I get why he's confused because she's reading out three years, two years, two years, she, she, and then he collapses, she's like, no, 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 I'm not even done yet. Okay, but what she was saying is, I'm not done yet, I'm going to tell you it's concurrent and it's actually only three years. But even so, of course, it's a huge, huge blow to him. I watched the whole video, I feel really bad. And, and then his girlfriend, who he had beat up, came and testified in favor of him. Let's watch her. I don't know what was wrong with him that day. Um, he, I know he was a good person. I hope he still is. I hope he learns from this. He really needs help. I don't think Jill will give him that. So, you know, she seems like she's forgiven him. God, you're thinking like, oh, this is all a shame until you see what he actually did because it turns out it's on video. When he attacked his ex-girlfriend in her apartment building in Bedford Heights on April 23rd, this surveillance video obtained by the Fox 8 I team shows Farmer striking Andrea Lane in the head and then continuing to strike and kick the 18-year-old as she cowered in a corner and pleaded for him to stop. But police say he dragged her outside by the hair and continued to assault her. Then when she tried to get back inside the apartment building, he attacked her again, tried to pull her outside, and later kicked her in the head four times. Oof, kicking your girlfriend in the head four times is not the way to go. The fact that he didn't understand that that was a very, very serious crime does not speak well of his uh, intellect, let's just put it that way, okay? I mean, look at that tape. You didn't think you were going to get serious jail time he for that? He kicked her in the head four times. That Trying was a brutal the assault. Head. Yeah, that's... Did you notice the first time he, come, he came up to her, she immediately flinched like this. Mm -hmm. Made me think, it ain't the first time he's hit her. You know what I'm saying? So, look, you got to send a message. And in fact, the judge talked about how unremorseful he was and part of the reason that she did this. Let's watch that. The judge says she also concluded that Tony Farmer was not remorseful after his initial arrest because he later attempted to intimidate the victim by sending her a series of text and phone messages. He certainly threatened her or said that um, he should have done something more to her. And so uh, that, in addition to what I saw on the tape, was very telling to me. And it was a violation of the no contact order that was put in place to protect her. 
Yeah, that's pretty serious. And then obviously the first time he hit her, if you saw it, she just kind of like, man, he he smacked her and she went rolling. She went flying. So I mean, obviously this is incredibly serious. But on the other side, Chris Brown beat the living crap out of Rihanna. I mean, everybody remembers the famous mm -hmm. picture where you know her entire face is bruised. He got no jail time. He right? served no jail time for what for what he did to her. And I mean, look at that. That's about as significant a beating as you're going to see, right? And so, how does Chris Brown get zero days in jail and Tony Farmer gets three years? So. I and mean, they both should have gotten some time. Yeah, yeah. Just to be completely clear, I don't think that a three-year sentence is too much. I don't think it's excessive at all. I think Chris Brown getting away with doing what he did, that's the real injustice here. And the fact that Chris Brown had supporters after what he did to Rihanna doesn't speak highly of our society at all. Yeah. Because keep in mind, after it happened, he had a number of people that were supporting him on Twitter, on Facebook. They were writing these horrible things about Rihanna and how she deserved it. It just it makes me sick to my stomach, and it's because we value celebrity more than actual human beings. Yeah, if he was already an NBA player, he would have been in a lot better shape. Look, there's two other factors other than celebrity, too. One is money. Mm -hmm. If you got money, you're going to hire the best attorneys in the world and it seems like there's almost nothing you can't get away with in this country you know, I mean look at OJ got away what it appears got away with murder right and and the list goes on and on of all the different celebrities that or just incredibly rich people who got away with it and then the second part of it honestly is video if there was video of Chris Brown pummeling Rihanna he might not have gotten away with it. He might have gone to jail too. When you see the video, that you go, oh, that looks really bad. Yeah, the video definitely plays a role in it. And also, that stupid text message that he sent to her, trying to intimidate her while he's facing a trial. Yeah, and this guy doesn't get it. That's why, it's another reason why I don't mind the jail sentence at all. Because it seems like he would have been right back at it. If, you, if they let him go, and he just got probation or something, I would have been worried about that girl, and what that guy's gonna do at some other time. I don't know that this is going to help. I don't know that it's going to straighten out his life. But I, I don't know if this guy can get anything. I mean, look, but I guess when he does, though, it really sinks in. Oh, <laughs> and there's a little bit of justice there, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you, the mirror images of the girl going down when she gets hit by him, and then he's so tough, and he's standing yeah. over her and threatening her and kicking her in the head. And then all of a sudden, when he had those shoes on the other foot, oh, she did run, and he collapses. <laughs>